Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Uh, last time we did the Spooky Swamp, we got everything there, as you can see, 100%. Uh, this time we're going to head over to Bamboo Terrace and check that place out. Off we go! I think we're getting close to finishing the Midway Gardens world, there might be one more level after this one. Uh, sorry, mid midday gardens, not midway. I'm not sure if there's three or four worlds in this game. There were three in Spyro 2, uh, and there were like six in Spyro 1, but they were relatively small. Okay. Give me a little gems. What do you want? Spyro, Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the Whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. Okay, I like your glasses. You, you're pretty cute. Jim, 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 Jim. Well, that Sparks' collection range increases, like when you get those upgrades, that makes it a lot simpler to collect everything that you need to get. Hmm. That's good. Oh, hello. Hey, Dwight. Oh, I was expecting, like, I thought they would look like Dwight Schrute. That would, would have been funny. But, don't worry. I, I can't remember if we've seen any baby dragons that are wearing glasses yet. Oh, that's adorable. And a bridge. Uh, yeah, I want to go over there. Madison. That's a cute name. Hey, Madison. Oh, you got an itchy? Oh. Dragons are definitely puppies. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, we're getting there. Maybe we'll fix this bridge, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. The enemies seem a lot more homogenous than they've been in previous games. Like, I'm just using fire, I haven't need to charge at anything. Nothing has like fireproof armor as far as I can tell. Uh, which is an interesting change. Cause yeah, in Spyro 1, like, mechanics of attacking enemies in different ways was very important. I can't really remember if Spyro 2 had that. But I'm, I'm noticing that it's not in this game. Uh, which I'm finding quite strange. Uh, 
we need we need a yeti. I'm guessing we'll free the yeti in the next in the next world and have to come back. Means we won't be able to get everything in this world just yet. We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our is it an egg? It really made more sense when they gave you like orbs or whatever instead of your own offspring <laughs> as a reward. <laughs> uh, it's it's like how in the in the, you know, the Marios, the Power Stars theoretically belong to Princess Peach in the first game, and the Shines belong to Delfino, the people of Isle Delfino in Sunshine. Whereas Power Moons in Odyssey don't really belong to anyone in particular, so it's okay that they get given to lots of different people. Uh, you follow me? Oh, cool, it's the, the, um, very racist stereotype guys again. Love it. Fantastic. <sighs> oh, there we go. There's a dragon with glasses. Cute. Okay, let me see here. Is there a reason to go in the water? It doesn't look like it. I do want to go over to the emergency bridge and see what's over there. Can even charge into the big... Right, bull guys or whatever? Not bull guys, bulls. I can charge into the bulls and like they don't knock me back? I don't, I don't really understand what they've done with the different enemy types. <laughs> it was quite significant in the first game. Uh, okay, we've got a sub area over there. It's probably going to be a bit annoying. Oh, I'll come back to that in a moment. Oh, is this the start of the level? Is it like a loop? Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Well, let's go into the sub area and see what's going on in there. Hello. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields. Those rotten Rhinox keep knocking them down. Can oh no! The yes. Please hop aboard. Uh. Is a shmup? Kinda. I mean, it's not a shmup, it's a first-person shooter. A shmup is like a side-scrolling thing. Wait, do I not have unlimited fire? It had an infinity symbol, but the number, the amount is still going down. I'm sure you would succeed if you... Please help Damn it. Please... Okay, let's try again. I assume it's just enough to last the whole trip, so it doesn't matter that the meat is going down. Oh, hang on, that's a panda. Don't shoot the pandas. Very slow. That was way more than enough to go all the way around. Did it keep going, or is that it? Oh.
very, very slow. Please Did take it? the shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. I mean, this is one of my eggs. This is a dragon egg. It's not just something you can just give as a gift that... <laughs> See the problem? Sure. I guess I'm done in here. Um... Okay, so we can't- we probably can't do Smash to the Mountaintop because I think that's the Yeti area and we don't have access to the Yeti, as far as I know. Let's see. Where does Sparks tell us to go? I think we're actually done with this level already. Or it's only been like, been like 10 minutes. Because we can't do the last area until we unlock a new character. As far as I know. Hang on, there's still something around here. Oh, right. Hang on. Okay, so we do want to... Oh, gosh, the camera. I can't say what I'm doing. Okay, so anything else down here? Oh, and we didn't actually finish getting the mystery bottle, did we? But yeah, there's still a few things we need to do. I forgot about that. But I think the last egg we are going to need a new character that we don't have access to yet. Ah, there they are. Oh. The bottle is now somewhere else. This house? Different one. Ah, there it is. The bottle is now somewhere else. Okay, it's now over there. Now at the very beginning, and it'll open when we get it now. I assume. Sure did. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's all we can do without access to the sub area. Let's head over this way and see. Let me go, Sparks. Okay, that's not the direction the sub area is in. There must be something else I've missed. Oh, this water. Right. That is, that is now the direction the sub area is in, so that's probably all we're going to get. Yeah, see? And we can't go in there yet. Need a new character. So we're done here for now. Uh, Alright, let's go look at the other level in this zone and see if we can progress. Give me that treasure! Okay, yeah, same one percent. I'm pretty sure we can't do the rest of that until we have a new character. So, for the moment, we're not going to go here, that's a speedway. We're going to go this direction. This 
cave over here. Icy Peak. Here we go. Okay, level two. Okay, that's not where we want to go. Whoa, are you a friend or a foe? I'm confused. Think you're a friend? I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. Oh, well, I'm a dragon. Clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. Can I use the cannon? Apparently. Okay, it clearly does shoot straight. It's very easy. I'm not sure what your problem was. Let's go skating. There's going to be like a backtracking thing, um, so that'll come up later. Onwards. Oh, hey, guys with metal things. I was just talking about you. And can I not ram this guy? Uh, find out. Yeah, I can't. Okay, that, that basically answers my complaints from the previous level. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, I can see stuff under the under the eyes. Can we break through it somehow? I bet there's a Yeti area here because an icy peak. That just makes sense. So I probably won't be able to do this 100% either, but that's all right. Okay, it's not sure how to get up there, but uh, the treasure's there for the taking when we can figure it out. So that's cool. Another cannon! Uh, what else? Oh, I can break those? Oh! That's interesting. I see a twirly whirly above it, but I can't get on top of it, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll go around. Hmm. Can I shoot down enough to hit that ice? Maybe. Skating, skating, skating. There we go. I believe you can't actually jump while you're skating, which is a little annoying. Even if it does make sense. Yeah, I can't. Well, maybe I can aim low enough. Let's see. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Just think the angle's just too far. Okay. Well, let's go over here. Well, 
Wouldn't they get like super cold with like metal armor in an icy area? Like, because metal like it conducts the conducts the heat, right? So they get cold. Then again, it's supposed to have like somehow insulate against the flames instead of conducting that. So maybe metal is just the opposite of what you'd expect in this universe. I don't know. Another cannon. Got one of those guys. Hey, money bags is here. Hate that guy. Okay, there we go. What do you want, money bags? Step right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. Um. <laughs> sure, it's only money. A cultured sort of dragon. Well, step right in. The show's about to start. Um. All right. Well, I know I'm gonna need to go there to get like something, but probably an egg. But first, let's continue doing stuff out here. Yeah, I can see my money's going down. I, I get it. blocks this morning so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try up the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. Uh, that's, that's, um, that's not a fishing lure, that, that that's, that's our children. Oh, by the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want. Oh. I'll just walk off the edge by accident, no biggie. Mm. I don't get why reigniting takes so long. Very strange. There we go. Alright, let me see here. I can glide over there. Can you kill the birds? I'm not sure if they count as enemies or not. Up we go! Oh, that's how you get over here! Uh... The cannon, the, the little rocket undid itself, so I guess I have to do that again. Hello, little dragon. Okay. Oh, we also need to go in there. Hello. Oh! You were guarding one of those. This level's got a bunch of interesting side bits and pieces. It's not as linear as it seems, which is which is nice.
You give me that. Here I go. near the edge. <laughs> oh. okay, I'm gonna come in from this angle. There we go. Uh, I probably wanna go and hit the rocket again. I still don't really understand why this game even has lives. They don't really make a lot of sense. There we go. Okay, let's... Continue on this path. Okay, so yeah, there's some gems over there. Maynard. Hello, Maynard. Oh, big yawn. That's cute. <laughs> A sleepy dragon. Okay, there's still another treasure up there. How do I reach that? Can I do it from here? Hmm, look like it. Maybe if I glide to this platform and see what happens. Oh, oh, I don't need a cannon. It's just a uh, head bonky one. Got a big Goombella. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. I probably want to go and get the uh, rocket launch one before going into the sub area in case that also resets it. I have a feeling it might. I need to go this way. Gems. What are we doing? Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff actually. I'm not sure how to get underneath the ice, which I'm going to need to do because there's stuff down there. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I'm staying still on this piece. I can't jump, but. Oh, oh, I see. I understand now. Um. I need to make that loop again, basically. Because this piece, you can see it's cracked. If I can jump and then head bonk down, I can get down there. Gotta be it. Which means I need to do it from above, which is what that little alcove was for. Well, it seems to have a lot more Spyro 1 design sensibilities than some of the other parts of Spyro 3, which is something I appreciate as a nostalgia for the first Spyro. Bam! Okay, now I can get into the water. It should be very, very cold, so I'm, I'm not sure how comfortable I would be swimming down here, but alright. I'm gonna get gems. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything that's down here. Okay, let's go to the skating now and go protect Nancy the skater. The one and only. The only skater. Her name is Nancy. Okay. Okay, ice dancing. 
Where are you at, money bags? In here. Can I jump that high? No, I need to go around. I have to hurry in myself. I'm one of the judges for tonight's performance. Yeah, that feels real unethical. Hang on just a moment, just having a tissue. There we go. He going to hurry in or he's gonna say that? Go, Nancy. Is my big ice dance performance, and these hockey players are ruining it. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Someone courageous, strong, <laughs> handsome, and purple, <laughs> who brings fire. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Can you please help me perform my ice dance. These mean Rhinoc hockey players keep hogging the ice, and all I want to do is dance. Thanks. <laughs> the Let's evil go. hockey players. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Ah. That's okay. It didn't hurt as much. Thanks. Okay, let me try. It's kind of hard to, to see where they're coming from. So the camera angles and stuff. <laughs> ah. That's okay. It did Thanks. <sighs> I guess I could zoom the camera out a bit, but I don't think that's an option. I have some ice skates, or do I just have to walk be on foot? <laughs> oh, god damn it. That's okay. Thanks. I'm in so much trouble. I'm pretty sure it's not random at all, I'm just bad at it. I think that's all of them. We did it! That was my best performance ever! I guess one of the judges didn't like it though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? <laughs> was that money bags or? Oh, cute glasses. Oh. Maybe you can be my ice dancing partner in the next Olympics. Wait, so we have the Olympics in this game setting? Uh, all right. Okay, I'm done with ice dancing. There's some more stuff to do, though. I'm still missing a sizable amount of treasure, for example.
Down from here? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I see. There's a secret staircase. Oh, so this thing, that was not just a weird ledge. That was this. Okay, I see now. Uh, okay, I like supercharged ramps, but I don't like the thieves. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Racism! Oh, phew. That's one. There's no treasure down here either, so I'm not quite sure where the rest of the treasure's gonna be. Maybe the little bit of treasure? I think I saw like a red gem or something. Oh, you're breakdancing. I'm breakdancing. Moonwalking. Got all the eggs. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is treasure in here, I'm pretty sure. Get up here and have a bit of a look around more slowly. Maybe? Oh. Oh, there we go. Break through this using a supercharge? Maybe? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna work over that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Wait, it didn't have to do the reigniting thing. That's nice of it. This level is interesting. It, it, it definitely feels a lot more like Spyro 1. Uh, in terms of design than a lot of the other levels we've played in this game. Which I like, because I like Spyro 1, and I have a lot of nostalgia for it. <sighs> oh, yep, there we go. Got it. Oh. Okay. Seems quite, uh, tight. <laughs> I was thinking maybe you came in from the other side and that's how you did it, but it doesn't look like that's a possibility. Hmm. Spawn. Yeah, you don't actually die if you fall down here. That's nice of nice of the game. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, that'll work. I just need to turn a little bit later. wasn't like a little bit later enough. Oh no, that's not enough. Is there another way to get in here that I'm not seeing? Hmm. I think if you're already supercharging and you jump onto a ramp that's going the wrong way, you don't lose it. I'm pretty sure. So, like, if I went over to, say, that ramp and then I jumped to the right, maybe? Oh, there's a wall there. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely a visible wall hiding there. Probably stop me from doing what I'm trying to do. Uh... Mm. Well, that gets me to the other cavern. Hmm. Is there a rocket or something? I think maybe? Very confused. Mm. I need to look this up. It's just such a tight angle. Doesn't seem possible. I think that's the last of the treasure, too, judging from the numbers. Maybe you can just supercharge at an angle? Like, hang on, let me have another look. Like, if I face sort of this way, that doesn't give me the charge, but maybe... Hmm. Okay, that would do give me a supercharge, so maybe if I angle it a little better... There we go! Oh, that was cool. Okay. There's still some treasure left, apparently. That direction. I'm not sure if that's... Because that direction is the, the wall with the chest behind it, or if that's, like, unrelated. I don't know if I just said it made any sense. Is it over there? Is that where it wants me to go? Yeah, it wants me to go back this way. Okay. Okay, so there's still a little bit of treasure here that I've missed. This direction. Hmm. Is the birds? Do I need to shoot the birds? Can I shoot the birds?
Oh, there's another crystal here, but if I break that, something interesting will happen. There we go. Aha! Okay, I think it's pointing at the birds. Yes. Okay. Still ten more? Uh. Five more birds. What? Does I give a green gem? Look two. Okay. Give it a, give it a little spinny spinny. Any others we can hit from here? Look like it. Now, two more. Two more birds. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that was Icy Peak. Um, there you go, 100%. I really liked all of the orb quests here, apart from, you know, the racism of the speedy thieves being um, an ethnic stereotype. But the level design, that was really good. Uh, I liked it. Um, getting the last couple of gems... Not so much. It's interesting. Usually it's the other way around. Like, getting all the gems is pretty straightforward, but some of the, like, side quests are really annoying. But here, not so much. Here it was just getting all the treasure that was the annoying part. And that's unusual. Level complete. Let's head on over to the whirly gig. 
Okay, I think that means we can go to the next world. I think I've done enough to make that work. Oh. Yes, I can now go to Evening Lake. I'm not going to go there yet. Uh, that's it for this video. Next time we go to Evening Lake, and I guess it'll be evening. Uh, and I guess there'll be a Yeti there. <laughs> uh, let me just run over our progress here. We've done Sunrise Spring. Uh, Midday Gardens, we need to do this thing, but I think we need the new character to do that. Uh, and on we go to Evening Lake. Yeah, we'll do that next time. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm waving, but you can't see me. There's no face cam on this video. Bye-bye. <laughs>